Hi, this is Kanababu. This is part 32 of ASP.NET. In this video, we'll see the steps to work with disconnection oriented architecture. The, uh, we already discussed in the last video the basic steps. Problematically, we'll see the steps to work with disconnection oriented architecture. Three steps are there as we discussed. First one is the data bound control. Second step is prepare the data source. Third step is attach the data source to the data bound control. So, step number one, we need to design the data bound control. Design the data bound control. So let us see what is this data bound control. Data bound control, it is used to display the data from data set to the front end. Data bound control is used to display the data. Display the data from data set to front end. Data set to front end. Okay now. So here uh, different types of data bound controls are. Data bound controls looks like tables. Eh? Different types of data bound controls in ASP.NET are there are a lot of controls are there. One is repeater control, one is repeater control, another one is data list control. Okay, na? another one is grid control. These all are different types of data bound controls are there. Another one is forms view control, another one is details view control. Another one is a list view control, list view control, another one is data pager control. These all are the types of data bonds that are available. Modifying, but the most popular control in the companies will use is grid view control. So we need to design the data bond control. So in order to design, in order to design data bond control, in order to design data bond control, we must have the knowledge on templates. In order to design the data bond control, we have to templates we have to use templates so templates main purpose is to design the data bound control data bound control also looks like your table is it html this is html table looks like html table and here we already know that this is your database this is your data set we need to read the data from database and store in data set in data set the data will be stored in the form of table which is collection of rows and columns and I need to display the data in the browser. So for that, we need to read the data from data set and display in the browser. For that, we Microsoft has given some controls. Those are data bound controls. Okay, now in order to design the data bound controls, you must have the knowledge on templates. Here I want to design the data bound control by giving some column headings. Table now, HTML table only now. Internally, this data bound control will convert into HTML table at runtime. So in order to design the data bound controls, you must have the knowledge on some templates. One is header template, other one is item template, another one is edit item template. These three are very very important templates in order to design the data bound control. Header template main purpose is to display the column headings within the data bound control. If I, I want to design this control like this, for that I need to give column headings. Item template. It is used to bind the data column by column from data and display in data bound control. We need to uh, read this particular column data and bind it to grid this data bound control column. For that, we'll use item template. So templates main purpose. Templates are used to design the data bound control. Templates are used to customize the data bound control. Customize data bound control. Customize and design data. Different types of templates are first one is header template I told you second one is item template third one is edit item template edit item template we'll discuss one by one later okay now so step number one is design the data bound control this is step number one support of templates you have to design the data bound control step number two prepare the data source prepare the data source so how to prepare the data source So prepare the data source first step is we need to declare the namespace declare the namespace how to declare the namespace using system dot data dot sql client because all the predefined classes belong to adv.net are available in this namespace and to declare one more namespace using system dot data because data set is a predefined class available in this namespace sql connection sql data adapter are also predefined classes available in this namespace so both the namespaces you have to declare 
if you want to consume the predefined classes and methods you have to import the namespaces next create the connection we already know create the connection by using sql connection class sql connection class is it clear step number one declare the namespace step number two create the connection how to create a connection sql connection con is equal to new sql connection of new sql connection of here you have to give the connection string you pass here connection string you have to pass yes or no user id password database data source you have to mention step number three uh, create object for pass the query step number three pass the query by using sql data adapter class sql data adapter class sql data adapter is a predefined class so sql data adapter da is equal to new sql data adapter of new sql data adapter of here you have to pass the query here you have to pass the query comma con so whenever you pass the query then what will happen data adapter will automatically open the connection we already know first create the connection next pass the query whenever you pass the query data adapter will auto open the connection execute the query and store the result in data set no need to open and close the connection in disconnection architecture step number four create object for data set create object for data set so data set is a predefined class available in this namespace data adapter is a predefined class available in this namespace are you following everyone so create an object for data set here data set to ds is equal to new data set of okay now step number five attach the attach the store the result of the data set store the result of the query store the result of the query in data set store the result of the query in data set so sql data adapter is a predefined class it provides some ready-made method called fill method you can call that method da dot fill of ds comma table name so here what is the meaning of this means whatever the result that we are getting that result is storing in data set object and in data set also the data will be stored in the form of tables so here i am giving some alias name for my table that is stored in the data set step number one design the data bound control step number two prepare the data source in that one first clear the name say create the connection using sql connection class pass the query by using sql data adapter class create an object for a data set store the result of the query in data set step number six that's it that is step number uh, basically three steps are there uh, what is the first step design the data bound control that is the first step design the data bound control that is the first step second step is prepare data source prepare data source that is second step we completed two steps third step attach the data source to data bound control and you have to give the link between data set to data bound control that is step number three okay now attach the data source to data data source is nothing but what data set only so attach the data set to result to data bound control are you following everyone so at one for that you can give something like this data bound control id data bound control id dot there is one property called data source is equal to ds and you are telling to data bound control your data is in data set and fill the data and bind the data how to bind data bound control data bound control id dot data bind method these two steps basically three steps are there to work with disconnection oriented architecture first step is design the data bound control second prepare the data source third step is attach the data source to the data bound control is it clear these are the three steps our main target is to bring the data from database and display in the front end is it clear but in front end you have only you want to display the data in the form of table exactly so in front end you have what data bound control is there these are the steps you need to follow while working with disconnection oriented architecture okay initially initial example is very easy but later if you want to customize the data bound control it is somewhat created we have to spend a lot of time on that 
So let us see, we'll do, I will show you one small example also, so that you'll get some clarity. So I'll stop the debugging old project. So here you can go to the project, add new item, select web form. So here I'll try to go to the toolbox. So in order to design the data bound controls, you can see, you no need to write any code. Microsoft has given ready-made controls in toolbox. Just go to toolbox. There you can see data. There you can see all the controls. Repeat error data list, but all are outdated. Nowadays, still people are using grid view only. So if you learn grid view, that is more than enough. So drag and drop grid view control from toolbox. Is it clear? It looks like a table actually. So step number one completed. Design the data bound control. Here you can select auto format. If you want to apply any style, you can give colorful. Click on OK. And here also you can give bold. Here you can give some double X large. Some style you can give. Now I'll try to write the code. Double click. Write the code in page load. Here you can declare the namespace using system dot data. Here you can declare the namespace using here you can write using system dot data and another namespace using using system dot data dot SQL client. Here you can create the connection SQL connection SQL connection con is equal to new SQL connection of here you have to mention the configuration manager. Here you declare the one more namespace using system dot configuration. Using system dot configuration. Using system dot configuration. Here you can declare the connection. Configuration manager dot. Configuration manager dot. Manager dot connection strings of con str. Con str dot two string. Here get a connection. Yes or no? Next pass the query by using SQL data adapter. SQL data adapter DA is equal to new SQL data adapter. Of. New SQL data adapter. Of. You can pass the query. Simply I'll write select star from EMP comma con. Then execute the query. How to execute the query? CMD dot. Sorry. Create an object for data set. Data set DS is equal to new data set of. I want to create an object for data set. Fill the data. DA dot fill of DS comma. You can give the table name here. EMP. Okay, now, and attach the data source to data bound control. Data bound control is grid view one. Grid view one dot data source is equal to DS. And here I will write grid view one dot data bind. Grid view one dot data bind method. Are you following? This is how you can work with disconnection oriented architecture. Build build solution. I think here, uh, yes, it is fine. I sub 5 and check the output. Okay. Here, data adapter name is DA. Data set object name, D, here just modify this one, DA. Okay. Press sub 5 and check the output. So, this is the steps that you have to follow when working with disconnection oriented architecture. Create the connection. Pass the query using SQL data adapter class. Then SQL data adapter will automatically open the connection to the database server. Execute the query and store the result of the query in a temporary database that is data server. Is it clear everyone? So how the data is displayed in the grid view. This example is very easy, but if you want to customize the grid view control, lot of complicated examples will be there. From next video onwards, you have a lot of um complicated concepts will come you must be strong in whoops inheritance upcasting downcasting all these topics are required for more videos try to subscribe to this channel thank you have a nice day